Worthy according to the dictionary is defined as having or showing abilities and qualities that merit recognition in a specific way. I think as humans, we all struggle with this idea of being worthy. But as people with disabilities, that worthiness not only gets questioned by ourselves internally as individuals, but by larger society. On this episode, we're gonna chat with Hannah Sawyer, the creator of This Body is Worthy. But before we jump in, I'd like to remind you to please subscribe and share. If you're interested in getting deeper in conversation, join my private Facebook group called Victoriously Living. And if you'd like to support us financially, you can do that at patreon.com forward slash One Leg Up Productions. Hi, welcome to Chair Chats, the lifestyle talk show with a disability twist. I'm your host, Pauline Victoria. Today on this episode, we're going to chat with Hannah Sawyer, the creator of This Body is Worthy, which is a platform online which considers every body worthy. Hannah, thanks so much for joining the conversation today. Thank you so much for having me on. This is very cool. I am really excited because I saw your website and it uh, really changed, uh, it changes perspectives, I think. Um, And so I wanted to just give you an opportunity to tell us what was the motivating idea behind This Body is Worthy? Sure. So, um, well, first of all, I'm so glad that you felt that it changed perspectives. That's definitely you know, the purpose of it. And I think also sometimes, um, I don't know, when you create something like that, you don't always know, you don't always have like tangential proof that it's like working, you know, or that it's doing what you want it to be doing. So that's very cool to hear. Um, So I began This Body is Worthy in 2017. I was, um, I think I had just graduated from undergrad. And I don't, honestly, I don't know exactly where that phrase came from. It just popped into my head one day and it really stuck with me. And it was something that I... I really wanted to do a photo shoot um, with that phrase written on various parts of my body that I felt self-conscious of. So I had a photographer friend at that time who I went to undergrad with, and I proposed this project to her, and she was very into it. So it started out, the whole idea was born, really, when... um, she came over to my apartment one day and we wrote the phrase, this body is worthy um, on my back and on my feet and on my chest. And then she took a bunch of photos. And then from there, because I wanted to bring it, I wanted to have more people involved in the experience as well. Um, And so from there we held two community art workshops um, in Iowa City. This is where I went to undergrad. And so those were set up with a photographer, myself, and then a group of volunteers. And we would invite people in the community to come in and to brainstorm a phrase that they felt um, professed their body's worth in some way or another. And then they would have that phrase written wherever they chose on their body. And then they would go to the little photography area. Um, The photographer would take their photo 
And then they also would write a little statement that would go with the photo. So we had two community art workshops in Iowa City. Um, while I was in Iowa City, then we also worked to put together a very basic website that these photos could be accessed on. At this point in time, it was just a Tumblr that we were using. Um, and one of my friends who was who volunteered with me and who was pretty involved in the project as well, she helped me to put that website together. Um, and then I moved to go to grad school and I, one, did not have, you know, my group of people with me, my, you know, group that had been involved in this project with me in Iowa City, they were not with me anymore. Um, and two, I was just very busy and overwhelmed with grad school work. And so I, I had wanted, I wanted to have another community art workshop, but that has yet to happen. So instead, I decided that I would sell t-shirts with the phrase, this body is worthy on them. Um, and so I sell those through Threadless. And um, I believe I started that, well, it would have been not too long ago, probably a little over a year ago. And um, so with those, all of the proceeds from the sales go to various disability focused organizations and projects. So um, yeah, and I think that the great thing about the shirts is that they've allowed so many more people to become involved as well um, because you know, you don't have to be, obviously, you don't have to be in the same city that I'm in whenever we're holding the workshops. Um, and I've always invited submissions of photos as well. But again, for that, you have to have someone write on your body and then you have to have someone take a photo. Whereas um, purchasing a t-shirt, you can, you know, wear the t-shirt wherever. And then, of course, you also are... Um, benefiting various disability organizations that are disability led, led by people with disabilities. Mm -hmm. um, and so then the last sort of stage of this project is I'm actually currently transitioning from selling t-shirts to selling prints, art prints by disabled artists. So this is sort of, um, what I am working on right now. And I had, there are a couple artists that um, I had reached out to probably like at the beginning of March that I was very excited to have work with me and they all said yes. And then the coronavirus has just really taken over. And so this is kind of put on the back burner for right now. Um, but that's the, that is where we're going with it. Yes. So if you're watching this months from now or even years from now, um, we are actually in April of 2020. And yeah. um, this is the coronavirus pandemic. We are in the heart of it. Um, so it has really changed a lot. And what I did like about your website that it was um, online and it's something mm -hmm. I don't know if you are you still taking submissions for absolutely. People? So this is something that people could do and express themselves and contribute yes. to even now with the way um, our current environment is. Um, yes. And so I, um, you know, it was interesting. I looked up at the introduction. I, uh, I looked up the definition of worthy and the, oh, defini yes, the, the definition of worthy is having or showing abilities or qualities that merit recognition at that in a specific way and so you said you didn't mm -hmm. know why you chose the the word worthy but i don't know if you've had any, any time to be introspective about that word of like what does worthy mean to you hannah yes um so i think that it means 
I really like that word, that um, recognition part of the definition. I think that's very important because there are so many services and resources and just day-to-day -day things that we need as disabled individuals that we are barred access to or that we have a hard time receiving access for. Um, and, you know, an, a, an example of that would be various healthcare services. Um, and that's, you know, like a more, uh, again, I guess the more tangential thing but then, of course, another another thing that I think everybody needs in order to, you know, live like a full life, I guess, would be a feeling of, well, self-worth, which goes back to that idea of worth and worthiness. Um, but I think that those things cannot be accomplished if individuals are not recognized as fully complete individuals. You know, so like we as disabled individuals have to be recognized first. We have to have that recognition of being worthy, um, not only from the outside world, but I think like we also have to view ourselves that way as well, because then then we're able to see a situation and say, okay, well, this is not right because I am worthy of receiving, you know, whatever it is, whether that be medical care or um, love or friendship, you know? And so I think that, I think that worthy to me, it's hard to come up with a definition without using the word itself, you know, <laughs> yeah. I would say, I would say, um, deserving. And I would say it's a, it's a sense of deserving that isn't based upon anything besides the fact that we're a human, we're human, you know, yeah, that's I think beautiful. that's that's my best shot at it. Right. Well, and I think it's interesting that in the definition it says merited of recognition in a specific way, but it right. doesn't. It doesn't say what that specific way is. It's almost very right. subjective. But I'm with you on the idea that we all, you know, whether you have a disability or not, struggle yeah. with this idea of being worthy. Whether that like you said, being worthy of healthcare, self-care, intimacy, yes. friendship, um, employment, being able to make yeah. money, um, you know, that all comes down to a sense of worthiness as an individual. I, I love your project because what it does is it helps um, take, it, it almost brings visual visuals to a larger problem of like do we find it worthy do we find us ourselves worthy enough of having our picture taken of making a right. statement with our body even mm -hmm. no matter what it looks like yeah. and does larger society look at our bodies or you know which is just the physical manifestation of right we are as humans as worthy you know and saying you know, you're worthy of being considered beautiful. You're worthy mm -hmm. of love. You're worthy of making money. You're worthy, you know, and, you know, it, it's worthiness is such a, I mean, we could probably go on and on about worthiness, mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's such a, a existential type of question and, and it is, yeah. word. So I love that you use the word worthy and not valuable or mm -hmm. beautiful because worthy, worthy could be both personal and um, as a collect, you know, as a collective from society. Yeah, I agree. And your insights, that was all very, so interesting to me because I never thought of that before. Like, 
you know, what does, perhaps does the project then also ask the viewers to ask themselves, do they feel worthy enough to participate in the project, you know? And of course, the goal would be that they would feel worthy enough to participate. Right. And the people that are willing to participate now or have in the past, can they give that courage to others that may not right. have originally thought themselves worthy? Right. So, yeah. Um, so it is, it's very, it's a very communal, collective project. I love that. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, it's your project. So thank you for doing that. <laughs> well, thank you for helping me see these things that I have not even thought of before. <laughs> you didn't know you were doing it and making such a I big know. impact. <laughs> um well that's that's the awesome thing right what we can do something we think is so small and yet has such a bigger impact in the world that we don't realize yeah. is happening the statements that are on people's bodies mm -hmm. um they get to choose right yes um, and so there were several statements that i was just so impressed with on there um and you don't you don't um, censor that, right? Anybody oh, no. who want to participate could say, "I want this on my body." Yes, absolutely. Okay. As the creator of this is this body is worthy. What is it that you hope when people look at your website, um, which is this thisbodyisworthy.com, or? Mm -hmm. um, what do you hope that they think or feel or walk away with? The current website, I do want to give a shout out to the designer who helped build my website, who's also disabled. Um, and her name is Jessica Audi. And so once I transitioned into, I was like, okay, I need a, a legitimate website now. And she helped me put it together. So yes, um, the question of what do I hope people walk away from or or walk away with or what do i hope it makes them think or realize i want people to see that the bodies that are showcased there are in fact worthy and i also really hope that they walk away or that they um leave looking at that project with a sense that the those photos i think i mean what is so cool about the photos is that each person in them just has this like feeling of pride in their face you know and it's so cool to see that um because i think that as viewers of the photos we then we not only see, okay, so this is perhaps a body that is not considered worthy by mainstream society, and yet in this context, um, it is being made, you know, it is being, um, it is professing its own worth, right? The person is professing their own worth, but also we are able to see from the project that this isn't just individuals it's not there it's there's no sort of like performance you know it's not it's not people just writing something on their body and then taking um like a photo we actually see their own pride in what they're doing and their own joy in what they're doing in their faces and in their statements which i think is really really amazing mm -hmm. so i guess i would hope that individuals who see my project realize two things and that is that um they begin to understand that the various individuals the various bodies included in this project are in fact worthy and valuable and beautiful and deserving of everything we've listed before and i would hope that the people who see the project would also then start to look inward and think 
what we talked about before, like, am I worthy then? Like, do I view myself as worthy? Um, maybe why don't I, you know, what, what could I do to change that? Those are all great questions that we should ask ourselves regardless. Um, yes. Like I, like I mentioned, I feel like your project puts uh, something tangible to start exploring those questions for ourselves. Yes. Um, if someone were interested in submitting their picture, yes how would they do that there's a page on the website i believe it says get involved and it will have the information there but essentially you just send an email to this body is worthy at gmail.com with the photo and with a written statement to go along with it and then they're put up and then you mentioned that you were pivoting a little bit you were um, trying to print uh, out people's people art artists with disabilities art. Yeah. Um, are you accepting artists or? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Anybody who's interested, um, you know, can find me on social media and shoot me a message that way as well. Definitely, definitely looking for more artists. I mean that the pivoting to that is for me it's because i want to be able to really um provide a platform for disabled artists to show their work so definitely any artists who would love to get involved i would love that perfect perfect um thank you hannah so much for creating this project and having a bigger impact than you, than you thought. Um, well, thank you so much for, yes, just for reaching out to me and having this. This is wonderful. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we need more people like this. If you, the viewer, are interested in getting involved and submitting your picture with your statement, I'd be curious, what is your statement? And what does that mean yes. to you? Um, and so if, again, if you want to get involved, go to this is, this body is worthy.com and also send the email to this body is worthy at gmail.com. Um, yes. thank you so much, Hannah, for everything, for sharing your heart and exposing it literally pun intended. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and uh, th thank you guys for joining us for another episode of Chair Chats. I want to remind you to please subscribe and share. And if you'd like to have a deeper conversation with me, join our private Facebook group at Victoriously Living. And if you'd like to see more products from One Leg Up Productions, please support us at patreon.com forward slash One Leg Up Productions. Until we meet again, be blessed.